If you were asked, who has had the most influence in your life, how would you answer? Was it your parents? To what extent did your era, country, or even your school teachers help shape your thinking? What is it that's made you who you are? It's an interesting question. Hi there, I'm John Classic, and welcome to Message Week. Let's rephrase it. Who has had the greatest impact on human civilization? Who of the great kings, emperors, conquerors, poets, scientists, discoverers, do you think has made the biggest mark in history? Because even after the sands of time, many are still remembered for their contributions. People, for example, like Alexander the Great, Aristotle, or Julius Caesar. We can think of notables like Michelangelo, Marie Curie, or Sir Isaac Newton. And then there are people like James Cook, Abraham Lincoln, Winston Churchill and so on. All were leaders, thinkers or artisans in their own right and I suppose we all could come up with a list of who's who in history. But who would top the list? Now our answers of course may differ depending perhaps on our culture and our society so let's narrow it down. Who is featured in the world's most published book? And from whose believed birth date do we count our years from? Well the only person that time hasn't diminished is Jesus Christ. And yes, did you know that the Bible is the world's most printed book? And yes, our calendar year is counted from the estimated year of Jesus' birth. And so of all the wise men, prophets, pioneers and kings, Jesus is the only one to have been recorded as having returned from the dead. So who really is Jesus Christ? Was he just an interesting historical and religious figure? Or was he, as he claimed, God among us? If you were asked who Jesus Christ is, how would you answer? Who was Jesus Christ? To me, he's my saviour. The one who sacrificed himself for me. Christ is my friend. He's my big brother. Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's my personal saviour. He is my master, my close friend, my confidant, and the one I love and adore. He's the best friend I ever had. He made me, formed me before the world was created. He's my Lord and Saviour. He's my brother. He's my king. This is Christ, well, he is my maker, my saviour. He's my future, he's my everything. Well, the Son of God, our Saviour, brother, soon coming ruler. He's our Lord and King. Uh, he's a creator of the whole universe, us included. He made everything. Jesus Christ is God's Son. He's God himself. There's an interesting insight from the scriptures that deals directly and elegantly with Jesus' identity. Now, John was a close friend and follower of Jesus, and this is what he wrote. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. And we read further on. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Yes, it was this Jesus who originally created this earth, and he's the one who sustains it. And by his breath, we have life, intellect, reason, and hope. And this same Jesus today is knowable. He isn't far away. He tells us, if you really seek me with all your heart, you'll find me. And what's more, he says, we will come and make our home with you. Now, accepting Jesus for who he is is perhaps one of the biggest challenges to our identity because coming to know him will impact and change your life like never before. So whenever you're asked, what is it that makes you tick? you'll have an answer that gives certain hope, a hope found only in Jesus Christ.